Getting to know your computer and the internet can be very helpful with work, school, and even everyday life. Making an email address can be an effortless way to access all sorts of information, much like your actual post mailbox. You can receive receipts, coupons, pictures, bills, or just regular old mail. You name it. This gives you the opportunity to stay connected with those further away from you or in a more formal setting than a text message or phone call. An email address allows you to sign up for and confirm services from other websites. It really is the key to using the internet. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to decide which type of email account we would like to have. Today, we will be discussing how to create a Gmail or Google email account first. You can sign up for an email address at other websites such as yahoo.com or your internet provider. To create an account, we have to get to the right web page. Open your internet browser. We are using Google Chrome and point your cursor to the search bar and type in www.gmail.com and press enter. Move your cursor over to the light blue text that says create account. This should be below the login screen area. This will bring up a separate sign up form. Follow the directions by entering your first and last name, finding a username that is available, and creating a password. Make sure to pick a strong password that no one can guess. Do not use birthdays of loved ones or names of children. Once it is all filled out and complete, it should look something like this image. A verification pop-up will ask for you to enter your phone number to verify your account. Google uses a two-step verification process for your security so they can make sure that this is your email address. You will receive a text message from Google with a verification code in just a few seconds. Now you should see a form to enter a little more personal information, like your gender and birthday, as well as a recovery email. The recovery email is optional. Our last and final step in completing our Gmail account is reviewing and agreeing to Google's Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. On this page, you can scroll through the terms. Move the cursor to the blue box that says, I agree, in the right corner and click. Your account will be created. Just like with any online service, do not forget how important it is to choose a strong password. In other words, one that is difficult for someone else to guess and keep it safe and secret. For more helpful videos, check out hcpl.net or our YouTube channel.